We can see the expression of frustration after all happiness-seeking thoughts were in vain throughout art, music and literature. We felt uncomfortable with unpleasant situations in life such as growing old, illness and death. And we become unresponsive to the matters which couldn't lead us to gladness. North American author and respected the Wall Street Journal colonist Peggy Noonan describes this reality when she states, We are the first generations of men that actually expected to find happiness here on earth and our search for it has caused such unhappiness. So a question remains, if we couldn't find happiness here on earth, where else could we find it? Bible reveals the contradiction of humanity, the distortion that sin caused in God's original plans. He had created a perfect world, so perfect beings could live and develop. Everything has its right place, following a strict order. Happiness was real because God, human, and nature were fully integrated, linked one to another. Sin unfortunately came as a toxic intruder, destroying the delicate spiritual tissues between humans and God, resulting in a huge abyss, leading men to live miserable compared with the creation before the fall of Adam and Eve. So the frantic chase of happiness is useless. It is impossible to be happy in a rotten world by the cancer of sin. But even so, there is hope. The book of Revelation tells us what God is preparing for each one of us in future. Sin and its agents will be annihilated and the original conditions of humankind will be restored. God will create new heavens and new earth. The human being won't feel frustrated anymore looking for gladness because it will be found in every inch in God's restored world. This is so good to be true that it looks like a silly child's dream, but it will come true for all those who accept God's will in his or her life. So answer the question in the beginning of today's video. We will certainly find gladness in God's restored world and to join this dream that will come true in future and soon, very soon, take the first step, accepting the invite. The Holy Spirit and the Bride say, Come, let anyone who hears this say, Come, let anyone who is thirsty, Come, let anyone who desires drink freely from water of life, Come.